Hi, it's Cupid, and today I'm doing another makeup video because I feel like it. First of all, thank you so much on the positive feedback on my last video. I didn't expect it to get that many views, but it did, so thank you so much. I really love that. And um, also, I have a cold, so for some weird, you know why. First step is to take off the makeup you've been wearing all day that makes you look like a crack whore. Once you took off the makeup, yeah, you don't have any makeup on. Great, isn't it? First thing I'm doing is to take a white body paint and put that all over my face, neck and shoulders with a beauty blender. Also, don't forget to cover your ears. After that, I'm just taking my translucent powder and I'm covering all the parts that I just painted with translucent powder. No coincidence. Moving on to the eyebrows. Well, first of all, I'm just brushing them upwards. Then I'm taking pink body paint and I'm filling in my eyebrows with said body paint. But after putting it on, I just noticed I'm not gonna wear pink wigs, so maybe be smarter than me and just fill them in with the color your hair is going to be. Or do them pink, whatever you like. Once I'm done with my brows, I'm moving on to the eyeshadow, and I'm starting by taking a white eyeshadow and just putting that all over my eyelid. After that I'm taking a hot pink eyeshadow and I'm putting that like extending from my eye and in my crease like like an eyeliner kind of not really somehow you see what I'm doing Next up I'm taking a dense brush with white body paint and I'm putting that all under my eyebrow because it looks cool, I don't know. Then I'm taking my hot pink eyeshadow again and I'm putting that all under my lower waterline. Then I'm taking a red eyeshadow and I'm putting that in my crease again, like just dabbing it in. That sounds weird, but yeah, you you know what I mean. After going in with white shadow again, here and there, I'm taking a blue eyeshadow and putting that on the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes. Then again, I went back in with some white. I don't know really why I keep doing that, but yeah, I did it, so there it is. For now, I'm just gonna leave my eyes like that instead of straight up going in with eyeliner and mascara and stuff, and I'm moving on to my cheeks. I'm just taking my hot pink body paint again, and I'm using that to do some blush on my cheeks and my nose and my chin. Then I'm taking my pink body paint again and I'm doing straight up strokes down from my neck to my boobs or shoulders depending on the place with the foundation brush. And I started to notice here this looks a little similar to a look that Made You Look did back in 2014 or something like that. That was my intention though so if anyone thinks this is like just copied, no that was not my intention. I didn't think of that at the moment I did that thing right there. Then I decided to go back in with some body paint on my cheeks because they weren't bright enough for my taste.
then I did the eyeliner, which I didn't really record well, like the mirror was in the way, but it was just a normal winged eyeliner. Then I tried to put on fake eyelashes, but I only had very old lash glue and they wouldn't really stick. And once I got them to stick, they would like get off after two seconds, so that wasn't worth it. So I just had to curl my eyelashes and put mascara on them like a normal person. After that I thought that some gold would look good, so I took some gold paint and I drew two little hearts on my cheeks. And then I wanted to do freckles and I first tried them with silver and then with gold, but they wouldn't really show up, so it was just a waste of time. Going with the all pink look, I took a pink lipstick and put that on my lips. You know, stuff you do with lipstick. Now you could stay like that of course, but that's boring, so I'm taking latex and some plastic pipes. Could also use toilet paper rolls or something like that. And I'm putting off the makeup at the places where I want those pipes to be. And I'm first of all taking spirit gum, which I forgot to mention. Which was very hard to open, so I just ended up breaking the whole glass. But was still usable, so yeah, I just put that on the part where I wanted my pipes to come out of. And I tapped the spirit gum, which you're not supposed to forget. And then I put the pipe there. Mind you, the pipe I'm putting on right now is way too long and I changed it later on with a smaller pipe. Because it was annoying as heck. Well, yeah, then I took some cotton. And put that in latex and I'm putting that latex dipped cotton all over. Not all over the pipe, but you know, at the tip of my pipe like part where it connects with my body that sounds weird as fuck and I'm doing the same on my forehead taking off the makeup putting on spirit gum putting the tube there and like surrounding it with little liquid latex dipped cotton right here I decided that I didn't like the long tube so I just ripped it off and did the whole thing a third time with the smaller tube because that would be less annoying. Then I played with some tweezers around with the cotton so it would look more rough and messed up. After that I took some red body paint and I drew veins going from the pube to my forehead, like out of my forehead. And I did the same with brownish tones and bluish tones, so it would look more colorful, I guess. Little tip, after you draw those veins, tap them with your finger, that way they get more like smooth and natural. Also, every time you look more bruised overall. And of course I did the same on the bottom part. And I used some fake blood because that's awesome and I put that like around the tube parts and also inside of them at least at the one on my forehead because otherwise it looks stupid when you have like a bare spot there.
Also be careful what kind of fake blood you get. Cause I'm used to like thicker blood and yeah, I bought a new one and I didn't realize it was a thin one and I got it all over myself. And that's it! Now you're a carousel doll thingy thing. Sadly, I don't really have a lot of footage of this because I shot this very late at night. And everything we shot outside got dark and blurry and red eyeish and I'm bad at editing, so yeah. That's all I've got. However, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like or maybe subscribe or do both. Give me maybe some ideas for videos. I'm very open to that. Bye.